The following slide presentation has been uh, designed to help you identify the different characteristics of various implants in the osteotie system. Please note that this is for information only and any errors or liabilities which may occur as a result of either uh, misrepresentation or lack of understanding uh, rest entirely with the surgeon restoring the implant. Osteotide cannot be responsible for any damage that may occur to either equipments or injury to patients that may result as a subsequent of the improper use of its uh, equipment or prosthetic abutments. Also be aware that our uh, reception staff are there to help support our users who are uh, fully trained and aware of the features of the system. They are not dentists and they are not technicians and they are not able to give any uh, technical support or treatment planning representations. If you wish to speak to a dentist or have a dentist or technician review your radiographs or case, this can be done for an additional fee of £50 payable prior to the consultation. We are happy to look at radiographs submitted. However, in the first instance, uh, please look at this presentation and if all is not clear at the end of that and you require further support, then we are able uh, to provide that, but at additional fee. If you are a, a system user, then the service is free of charge. Now, over the 30 year lifespan of this system, obviously there have been se several series changes, updates and modifications. The first series, which was introduced at around 1990, and then this was followed by the Series 2, which was introduced around about uh, 1998 to 1999. And then this was followed by the Easy Plant in early 2000. The Series 1 and Series 2 and Easy Plant all accept the same restorations, all accept the same abutments all work with the same transfer components. So if you have any of the e earlier series, these are series probably dating back before 2005, then they all work with standard uh, abutments and uh, transfer techniques for the series one, two and easy plant. If however you have an anchor lock uh, implant, which was introduced uh, probably mid uh, 2005 then uh, these are slightly different and although the hex diameters are the same and the actual tools required to fit the abutments and the post screws are exactly the same the abutment interface is different and they are not interchangeable also, we do not recommend the use of the osteotie system with any other manufacturer's components or instrumentation. Should you do this, then all product liability is wavered and you do so at your own risk. Before moving on further, it's worthwhile just explaining some of the terminology that will be used during this presentation. The implant platform basically is the most coronal section of the implant to which the abutment is fitted. When the abutment is placed on top of the implant, we then have the implant abutment interface, which is the space or the connection between the implant body and the abutment. Now, in an ideal world, the patient should have the batch number and definite identification of the implant type and series, or even the implant manufacturer. This often does not happen, so we are reliant on radiographs. Radiograph features are almost 80% correct, however, they can be misleading and difficult to read. This is an example of a series one implant and the main features to look at here is that the implant body is parallel and not tapered. 
Also, the abutment fits flush at the implant abutment interface. The abutment fits flush. There is no spacing or gap between the two. So these features almost certainly mean this is an earlier type of implant and would be a series two type of connection. So this is our standard early implant design and uh, the office will be able to help you with uh, the components for this and you will see that there is a presentation about how to go about taking a transfer uh, impression related to this type of interface. So this is our standard early uh, interface. This is our easy plant design. And again, the interface is the same for the easy plant. The implant abutment interface is the same for series one, series two and easy plant. So they work with the same restorative components and instrumentation. The thing about the easy plant is the side of the implant is not parallel anymore but is actually tapered. But again if you see an implant with an aggressive taper like this it is most likely to be one of the earlier implants and not the anchor lock system. In around uh, 1996 to 1998 the system introduced platform switching if you're not aware of platform switching this is where the abutment has a slightly narrower di uh, diameter than the implant head itself so if you see this kind of arrangement on a, uh, a x-ray then this is showing platform switching and most likely we're looking at an earlier design of implant abutment interface this radiograph shows two types of abutment uh, interface. As we've said, the actual sizes and the prosthetics are the same for both. However, we have two varying examples. The implant on the right hand side of your screen has got definite uh, difference in diameter between our abutment and our implant diameter. So there's a difference there, the abutment being slightly narrower. So this is definitely platform switched. And also this would be a series two implant. There is no gap. The abutment fits flush with the implant platform. Here, uh, this again is a bit more difficult to read. It is again platform switched because the uh, interface or the connecting part of our abutment to our implant is inside the diameter of the implant. So again, this is an example of a platform switched implant and this would be a series two implant. It's tapered and there again is no gap at the implant abutment interface. There is no gap or spacing that can be discerned from the radiograph. Obviously, much of this depends on the angle at which the tube is positioned and sometimes this can uh, sometimes make an anchor lock look like a series two because of angulation and superimposition of the uh, two images of the abutment against the implant body. However, this would be quite obviously a series two type of connection being as there is uh, no space between the two. These are again examples of series two type connections. There is no space between the abutment and the implant. Uh, the implant abutment interface is quite easily discernible. There's no space existing here. The abutment fits quite flushly on top of the implant. And also this particular implant is platform switched. These two implants are not platform switched and in fact the abutment is slightly larger than the uh, fixture itself. Again this is an indication of a, a series two type of connection. On the anchor lock uh, range the abutment would never be larger than the implant diameter. It will either be equal or slightly smaller but never larger. So if our abutment looks larger than the implant diameter then this most likely will be a either early series one, series two or easy plant. Uh, in the anchor lock range, the abutment diameter will either be equal or smaller to that of the implant diameter. 
except in situations where the implant is a 3.2 millimeters, in which case uh, the abutment will appear slightly bigger, but there will be a noticeable gap at the implant abutment interface or spacing. The abutment will not appear to fit flush uh, at the implant abutment interface. Again, we have a Series 2 type of connection. Uh, there is a platform switching occurring here in that the abutment is slightly smaller than the diameter of the implant. The abutment is fitting flush at the implant abutment interface. There is no space and there's a definite little taper lead in like that. This is indicative of a Series 2 type connection and this would be an easy plant because the body is again tapered. Again this is an example of a series 2 type of interface. Again we can say that this is a easy plan because the implant is tapered. Uh, the abutment in this situation is very slightly larger than the uh, diameter of the implant. This is because this implant is a 3.25 diameter implant and the abutment is most likely 3.75, so the abutment will overhang the implant. Now, this, will, this type of appearance will be seen on the anchor lock as well, but the main thing to notice is this lead-in. There's a 45 degree taper lead-in. This is only seen on the Series 1, a Series 2 and Easy Plants. You will not see this on the Anchor Lock. So this is what tells us that this particular implant is a Series 2 type of interface. Another example again of Easy Plants, tapered implants, quite aggressive uh, thread form. And the abutments in this case are slightly larger than the 3.75 diameter implant, again indicative of a Series 2. And again, look at this taper leading into the implant and short hex. These are all uh, features of the Series 2 connection. Again, a feature which is indicative of a Series 2 or an earlier design is that the implant now is completely flush with our abutment and there is absolutely no gap or anything between the at the implant interface. So this is a Series 2 or Easy Plant type connection. The abutment is the same diameter as our implant but there's no platform switching and no space between the two. So absence of platform switching will mean that the, the implant is an older version. And of course, this implant is parallel sided, meaning it's more likely to be a series one implant. This again shows two tapered implants, immediately indicating that this is an easy design. Again, this particular implant is not platform switched, so definitely not an anchor lock because it would be platform switched. This implant is platform switched, but again, there's very little spacing between the two, and you can just make out perhaps a 45 degree taper on here. But this again is a series two type of connection. Now let's take a moment to acquaint ourselves with the design features of our anchor lock implant. The main feature of the anchor lock implant is that the abutment locks to the implant so that it, a hermetic biological seal is formed which reduces micro leakage at the implant abutment interface and reduces the amount of um, uh, loosening of our abutments. So on this type of abutment we have a very long lead in and then we come to the actual hex at the bottom. This area here has been designed to produce this hermetic seal to prevent micro leakage, which normally occurs from the occlusal cavity out this way in systems that don't have this feature. But the other interesting thing to, to note on this uh, design is that the um, abutment does not fit flush on the implant abutment interface. So if we look carefully, we can see that this does not fit down flush on that implant uh, abutment interface. There is this small gap 
between the two, this area here. Now, this is quite easy to, to spot diagrammatically, but isn't so easy to spot sometimes radiographically. But what you will see, again, is there is no definite taper leading in. This implant has no taper leading in because the abutment fits inside like this into our implant. So there's no 45 degree taper that we would normally associate with one of the early series. And also the, uh, the hex uh, extends far deeper into the implant than on the earlier series. In the earlier series, the hex would be at this level and there'd be a 45 degree taper in like so, whereas on the newer series, we first of all have platform switching as standard and we have this small gap and there is a lead in and then the hex is positioned far deeper into the implant body than on the earlier systems. So these are the design features. You have to look very carefully at the implant to decide what you're actually looking at. So, uh, to sum up this presentation, we're going to try and look at the radiographic features between an Easy Plant Series 2 type of connection and an Anchor Lock type of connection. First of all, radiographically, the implants can look very uh, similar. They're both tapered in appearance. However, on the Easy type of design, the threads are much further apart than on the anchor lock design. The thread pitch is, is completely different. So that's one giveaway by just looking at the implants and the thread pitch. So the next thing to look at is the detail of the implant abutment interface. Now if we look at the Series 2, this is a platform switched type of arrangement. However, there is no gap at the implant abutment interface, the abutment sits flushly on the implant platform. So at this level here, the abutment sits flushly. And also there'd be a 45 degree taper from that abutment going in, and then we'd have our hex positioned like so, our implant hex here. So this is how this type of abutment, and this would be a series two type of connection. Now let's look at the anchor lock type of connection. If you look carefully, you'll see that the, the base of the abutment is there and our implant platform is there. And there's a small vertical space between the two, which is a design feature uh, uh, to aid uh, platform switching and our hermetic biological seal. Also, there is no 45 degree taper. You will not see a 45 degree taper and a hex on this system high up. What you will make out is perhaps a long lead in and the hex is positioned far more deeply and runs out in that level there. Again, not easy to spot, but if you look at where the abutment screw starts to appear clearly, it's in this area here, whereas the abutment screw is tending to appear just perhaps a little higher up. But again, uh, it's not easy to um, differentiate the two, apart from perhaps looking at the uh, implant body itself and looking at the thread pitch, which tends to be wider, and looking very, very carefully at this implant abutment interface, which, as I say again, is uh, flush. So the abutment actually fits flushly onto the implant platform. On this situation here, the abutment is actually separated and sits above the implant platform. And you can almost make out in that area a very, very small space. I hope this presentation has helped uh, explain some of the design features uh, between the different uh, implant varieties which Osteotai has manufactured over the years.